Welcome to my lecture online. Here's a really interesting problem. I actually like a problem like this. And it deals with a cyclic process. And they're asking us to calculate the work done in a particular cyclic process. So let's read the problem. Cyclic process. Cyclic process. OK, let's call it a cyclic process. N moles of a perfect gas undergoes a cyclic process from A to B to C and back to A, see the figure, consisting of the following processes. So from A to B, we have an isothermal process. Thermal or isothermic? Hmm. Well, from B to C, we have an isobaric process. From C to A, we have an isochoric process. And they're wanting to know the total work done. So typically, the work done equals the area inside the cyclic process. But since one of the curves is a logarithmic curve, it's not easy to calculate it simply by the geometry. If this was a straight line, it would be easy, but it's, a, it's an isothermal process. So what we need to do here is we need to figure out where work is done. Now, going from A to B, work is done by the gas, so that's called positive work. Going from B to C, work is done on the gas, so that's negative work. And then going from C to A, no work is done because there's no change in the volume of the gas. You can only do work if there's a change in volume. So that means that the total work is equal to the work done from going from A to B, and then plus the work done going from B to C, but that's going to be a negative quantity because we're compressing the gas, and if you take the, the definition that it's work done by the gas, it would be negative work, and plus zero because there's no work done going from C back to A. So, how do we calculate the work done going from A to B? Well, we know there's three equations. The work done from A to B is equal to uh, nRT times the natural log of the ratio of the volumes. That would be V2 over V1. So V2 over V1. And since V2 is twice V1, this would be equal to nRT times the natural log of 2. Or we can replace nRT by pressure 1 volume 1. So this can also be written as P1 V1 times the natural log of 2. And that can also be written as P2 V2 as the natural log of 2. So those are the three possible equations we could use. All right. So next, and let's see here. Since the answers are in terms of nRT, then this would probably be the right equation to use. All right. What about the work done going from B to C? Now, we know that's going to be negative work because we're compressing the gas. We're doing work on the gas. So the work done from B to C is going to be equal to the negative of the pressure, which is constant, in this case it's P2, times the change in the volume. So times the volume change, which would be V2 minus V1. Or, better yet, the negative sign can actually be taken care of by simply getting rid of that and simply doing V final minus V initial. And of course, V final is V1, and initial is V2, so this would be P2 times V1 minus V2, which is equal to P2 times V1 minus 2V1. So in essence, the work done going from B to C is equal to P2, or actually a negative, I forgot the negative there, a negative P2 times V1. All right. So, V1 can be written as a half V2, right? Because when we go here, V1 is half of V2. So this can be written as minus P2 times a half V2. And why did I do that? Because P2 V2 is the same as NRT, right? NRT is P1 V1 or P2 V2. So this can be written as minus one half times NRT. So now all I have to do is add the two together. So now we have work total equals the work from A to B plus the work done from B to C. So going from A to B, I have, this is equal to nRT times the natural log of 2. And the work done from B to C is 
minus one half n r t. So when I factor out an n r t, the work total is equal to n r t times the natural log of two minus one half. And that is how we find the total work done. Now, when we take a look at the answers, notice it is answer number D. That's the correct answer, nRT times the natural log of two minus a half. And that is how it's done. Did I do that in three minutes? Probably not, huh? <laughs> Five and a half minutes, of course, I did a lot of talking. Well, it's a good excuse. I'm explaining things, so it takes a little longer. This could be done in about three minutes if you really work hard, if you understand the concept of finding the work done, you realize that this can be explained by these three equations, nRT times the natural log of the ratio of the volumes, which in this case is a two to one ratio, because it expands to twice the volume. You can also reuse P1V1 instead of nRT or P2V2, but essentially, since the answers are expressed in nRT times the natural log of 2, we definitely want to, you can see that this appears in these three answers. You know it's not going to be zero because it can only be zero if there's no area inside the cycle. Since there's an area there, it cannot be zero. So we see that we want to use nRT times the natural log of 2, but how do we get the rest of it? Well, in that case, work down from B to C can be found to be the pressure times the change in the volume, V final minus V initial. V1 is smaller than V2, so it's a negative quantity. And so we end up at minus P2 V1. But then if I change from V1 to a V2, that way I can set P2 times V2 equal to NRT. I end up at a minus one half NRT. And that's where this minus one half comes from at the end. That's how it's done. And you could probably do that in three minutes if you do it quickly. And not talk so much. And not talk so much. That's right. There's no talking a lot in the test. <laughs>